Yo, what's up everybody? This is B-Boy, Matt Action from Rock Horse and Waseda Breakers. And today I'm here with Spin Control to bring you another tutorial. And this time it's one of my favorite moves called the backspin. So the backspin is an awesome foundational power move because it, it just teaches you so much about your body and about momentum that you can't really get uh, from other moves as easily. It's such an easy move to start with, but you learn so much from it. So with the backspin, um, it teaches you how to stay on your center of gravity. It teaches you how to balance and actually maintain momentum while in your center of gravity. And it sets you up with a great foundation to get into your windmill. Um, the other thing that's great about backspins is it can be a very basic foundational power move, but when executed correctly, it can also be a very high level power move that really brings a lot into a battle situation, a show situation, or just for fun, whatever you want to do it for. So to really capitalize on the backspin and make sure that you can do it the best you can, you're going to first need to get some spin gear. If you use a normal t-shirt, um, you're not going to be able to spin very long and it's going to be hard to like really capture this move. So I would suggest getting something slippery. Um, of course, we're doing this move, this this uh, this tutorial for spin control, and they have created this uh, awesome thing called the classic hoodie, and it's super slippery. It's perfect for ground power, and it's it's literally made for breaking. So if you're gonna learn the backspin and you need something to slip in, you don't got something yet, this is my number one recommendation. It's awesome. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing that you're gonna want to do is warm up. Number one is your wrists and your forearms. Depending on how you get into it, you're gonna be using them. Even though you're on your back, you're gonna end up using them to get in because that's where you generate your momentum. So a really great wrist exercise that I've learned is you start here and you go up, up, like this, up and down. Another thing that helps is going down on the front. You're gonna for sure want to make sure that you warm up your groin and your, uh, your legs because when you're doing this move, your legs and your groin are gonna be pulling in and there's a high chance of injury if you're not warm. So make sure you follow along and do some of these, these warm ups. For one, just going like this. And if you're more flexible, you can go down like this. Warm up your hips. And it always helps, of course, to do a slight straddle. Just being a normal straddle here, reaching forward, going to the side. Make sure that you got some mobility in here. You can reach straight forward in a pike. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you warm up your shoulders and back. So you can always do the basics, such as this, rotating forward, rotating back, going down side to side. You wanna make sure that you don't overstretch when you're doing your warm ups, because if you overstretch in any of these positions, you might end up getting more likely to get injured. So make sure that you're warming up, but you're not stretching super deep, slight stretches. Okay, so if you're all warmed up, let's get into some of the key positions and key locations on your body that you're going to be using when doing the backspin. The first thing that I think is uh, important to teach is exactly where you're supposed to be on your back. You're gonna to wanna to be right about here on your back. That's where you wanna be balancing. It's kinda of high up, it should be right about between your shoulder blades. That's point number one that you're gonna really need to remember because if you don't get onto that point, you're gonna have a very hard time doing this move. So oftentimes when you see beginners trying to do this move, you see them try to spin right about here on their back. Their legs are kind of down like this and they're, they're mostly spinning on their lower back. That's the ultimate no-no for this move. So the position that you really wanna be in for this move is actually a lot higher. It's that point where I showed you. So you're gonna go up onto your back to that point and you're gonna to need to bring your legs up over your shoulders like this. You wanna be here. It's almost like a straight line, straight down here from my legs down to that point on my back where I wanna be, where I wanna be spinning and where I showed you beforehand. You wanna to try to keep that position. If you can be here, you can maintain your spin. So if you can't do this, this is your starting point. You wanna to learn to sit right here. You should be able to extend, close, grab your feet, all these different positions. You should be able to do this. It looks kind of funny, but this is actually the foundation of the backspin. So getting on that spot right between your shoulder blades. So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you two methods of getting into your backspin. One is great for beginners, and the other one is for people who are a little bit further along in their braking journey and maybe already know how to windmill. Um, regardless of what method you do, there's something that if you wanna get a lot of backspins and you wanna get them fast, you need to learn to do quickly. And um, what that is, is to slow down. So. What I mean by that is when you get onto your back, everybody immediately wants to just crunch in and try to spin them out as fast as you can. If you haven't gotten on that balance point and you don't understand how to maintain that balance point, it's gonna be very hard 
to have a controlled backspin that stays in one location, doesn't move everywhere, and looks really clean and nice. So the trick to this is literally to slow down, and you do that by staying open. Because if you're closed, you're gonna spin very fast, and if you're open, you're gonna slow down, you'll have more control, and you can feel out what's going on on your back, what's going on with your legs, and you can make corrections as you go. So I'm gonna show you what I mean doing the most basic intro, um, which is more for beginners, and it's the swing intro. This one, you start with your legs open. This is method number one, and what you do is you swing your leg, lay on your side here. You can use this hand over here to make sure that you get a good kick. You bring your leg up, hips come up. Now you can see I'm not closing, I'm staying open. Now this is what I mean, stay open. Don't try to close yet. Once you close, you're gonna go really fast, but you're most likely gonna fall off your center of balance if you're at the beginning of, this, of learning this move. So let's watch that intro in slow motion can see my leg is kicking over here, I lay down on my back, my second leg follows, my hips come up, and I get on my center. Now in this clip, I close in very quickly. In the beginning, you don't really want to do that quite yet. Let's go one more time, and I want you guys to watch this time because I'm going to go slow and I'm going to stay open um, very wide. So I'm open here. And I'm staying exactly on that center point. That's the main goal right now in the beginning of this move is just staying on that center point. So the second method of getting into your backspin is by doing a normal windmill collapsing drop. We're not gonna go over how to do that drop in this video. We're gonna go over that in our windmill tutorial later on. But if you already have it, it's probably best to practice your backspin from this entry because you can generate a little bit more power. And you can see I'm just open the whole time, but I'm still hitting quite a few backspins. And that's just because I know exactly where my center is. Now, let's watch one more time. I'm gonna do my normal windmill drop in, and then I'm gonna actually uh, just stay open on that center, okay? And I just stop exactly where I wanna be. One more point about when you're on your back as well. When you're here on your back, you, you probably wanna put your head on the ground or have it slightly off. Um, and that's why I suggest having a hat or a beanie because your head is likely to hit here in the beginning when you're learning. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is going from the open to close position and we're gonna go a little bit faster. So we're gonna start open, find our center of balance and then we're gonna pull it in, just hold it there, okay? So we start here like we're doing a windmill. We go open and then close. And that's it. So the last thing you gotta do now, once you have that move down, you're gonna go fast. So you're actually gonna try to kick as hard as you can, get on your center very quickly, and then you're gonna close. I prefer to do this mostly from a windmill or from a flare, because I have the most momentum going into it, and it just, it makes it so easy to get into it, have a fast and clean backspin. So I'm gonna do a normal windmill drop, straight into a backspin. Hopefully I don't kill my mic. And that's what it looks like. All right, so now that you guys know how to do the backspin, I'm gonna show you a little bit of what you can do with it and um, some different ways that I like to do it, what it actually looks like when you get it down, when you get it fast, all right? So check it out. When I first wanted to get into the backspin, I had a couple inspirations for it, and I just wanna shout them out real quick. The first one is, of course, Maurizio, the next one. That guy had the meanest backspin you've ever seen in your life. And then the second guy was Legacy from Street Masters Crew in Florida. That guy had one of the six backspins I've ever seen too, and he could go like both ways with it. So last but not least, this tutorial is brought to you by Spin Control. They make a bunch of equipment for breakers uh, to make sure that you get better and better at what you wanna do. So especially for this type of move, for windmills, anything sliding, the classic hoodie is amazing. Uh, it's literally built specifically 
for braking. And of course, the three panel cap, which I'm wearing right now is awesome. Um, and the five panel cap is great as well as just the classic premium spin cap. So head over to the website, make sure to cop something and get this move.